open. Okay. Once you address the colon, your mind, your lung, your skin all cleared out. It's like a, a open the pores, like okay. the uh, the largest elimination area, a part of the skin and the kidney. Yeah. The lungs and the colon. And the colon. Yeah. yeah. And they're mm -hmm. all related. All related. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so you currently uh, address. Uh, symptoms uh, via the colon by using herbology through that mechanism. So yes. you introduce mm -hmm. herbs to treat uh, symptoms and you do that by entering them through the colon, colon. using mm -hmm. colonic therapy. Yeah, because Western medicine think colon don't absorb the things. They th believe uh, small intestine, stomach is digest, absorb the nutrient. Colon only absorb the water, a little mineral or something. That's the way the medical theory. Yes. But in Asian Syria, the colon does absorb. If you have put the uh, uh, things in the liquid things, and the colon does. The colon uh, absorbed not from the colon blood circulation, it's from the lymph circulation, lymphatic system. Lymphatic. Mm -hmm. So the colon have very, very uh, supplement of the lymphatic system. So yeah. the nutrients through the lymphatic system go to the liver and through the liver detox clean and they go to the blood circulation. Mm -hmm. So it's like have the bridge between lymphatic absorption colon stuff and then go to the blood system, your body. Mm -hmm. So that's why you think you can put healthy herbs stuff herbs into the colon. Into the colon that will eventually get into the bloodstream. Bloodstream, yeah. So but through the help of the lymphatic system. Through the help of the, if the mm. lymphatic system is working properly. It's working properly, properly. Right. yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. if you can introduce healthy herbs to treat symptoms, do you also think that the colon can absorb unhealthy, toxic chemicals yeah, it's a, and... Same thing, if the colon can absorb nutrient and same time colon can absorb the toxin. Right. It's through the lymphatic system. Okay. Because the lymphatic system, not like a capillary, it's more. Lymphatic system can ab absorb the stuff through the a big, large molecule, then small molecule. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. does, uh, does that mean that those toxins by leaving the colon and and entering into the bloodstream do you think that they can actually that the walls of the colon can be permeable then in other words yes that there's a two-way directional um yeah two-way the, the the national exchange pathway yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. is 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 there something to be said for a healthy colon in terms of the walls of the colon, the integrity of the lining of the colon, can that break down over time through toxins that we introduce with food or the environment? Yeah, it's a just an example. If the pipe is filling up the skunk in the uh, pave around the colon, mm -hmm. how do you expect the colon to absorb the healthy stuff? Right. Because the first the colon absorb, you have to clean the skunk out. Yes. Once you clean that out, then colon can be healthy like a sponge, suck it up, the nutrient. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can't. 